Okay, at least... Get over here. When Eeyore meets Pinkie Pie. Dude, I feel like if Eeyore met Pinkie Pie, he'd be... It'd, it'd just be like the fucking donkey episode when she met the donkey. He'd be super annoyed, and then she'd do something super nice, and then you'd be like, oh, you're all right. I guess. You know, there's Actually, been, like... Yeah, about it. There's been side-by-side -side comparisons with, like, the ponies and uh, the Winnie the Pooh characters. Like, Pinkie would get along way too well with Tigger. Uh, Fluttershy would get along too well with Eeyore. God damn it! Um, Owl would get along too well with Twilight. Yeah. Um, who would get along with... Who would get along with Pooh or Piglet, though? But, uh... I could honestly see Fluttershy getting along with Piglet because they're both scaredy cats. Okay, I could buy that. I was thinking like, I was thinking like Fluttershy and Eeyore because of how soft spoken they are, and I did the same Dude. goddamn thing. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be hilarious if Pooh got along with Discord, and Pooh was just oh, like, yo, my God, I've no. been too nice for too long. It's time to mess oh, some God. things up for everybody. No. <laughs> that would be such like, a character turn. Rabbit just gets pissed off by everything, manages to piss off Discord, Discord just turns into stone. Oh my god. <laughs> no one was sad. Oh my word. Oh my god. Okay. And he was just like, finally. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interdimensional challenge. Uh, damn it. I keep falling out of habit. Okay. So, like, I did not anticipate that we'd get to this of all conversation topics during this game. Okay, I had to like BRB for a second. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, you, uh, we, we were talking about, uh, we were still talking about like what, like what ponies would get along with what Tigger characters. Well, I mean, yeah. Characters. Who characters? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's Do sad that when your favorite character gets more attention and love than the main character. Yeah, might as well rename it to the Tigger show. Oh shit! Oh! Something, some, something, something, Super Luigi, brother. <sighs> Super Luigi, you! Super Tigger, you! Oh my god! Golden fell in the muck again. Oh no! Oh! Okay, this person's. I. I forgive me for not pronouncing their name. The. You I can't. The same voice of OG Ultimus Prime. No way! Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, what? Hang Someone on, I need chat to look... said the. I need to look that up. Also, apparently, my Twitch is freaking the fuck out. He turns poo into honey. Oh my god. Whoa! That'd be so ironic. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> turns poo into a jar of honey and then just eats them. He turns poo into a jar of honey, but he's like he's like a bottle. But like he's shaped like a bear, like one of those honey bottles. That would be oh, cool. that would be yeah. whole, both hilarious and weird. Yeah, because I see Discord doing that. Oh damn it! Uh... Come on, Golden, you can do it. Hang on. <laughs> uh, Chuckish Irish or. Uh, Chucky, uh, sorry if I'm butchering your name. Thank you for the bits. Chuckish, ch fuck, now I can't say it. I was so confident. I was so confident that I could get it on the first try, and here I am fucking up too. Let me scroll down to the bottom. Where is that? I think it's Chuckish Iris. A Chuck is Irish. What would happen if Eeyore met Optimus Prime? Is this your attempt of trying to get us to talk about Transformers? Because I don't think much would happen if ER met Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime would just be like, well, that's a weird talking mule over there. Either that or he would just make the speech saying, Eeyore, there's no use in making yourself completely depressed. The only way to go is up. You have your... <laughs> like, you would give this motivational speech... You must put the cube in my chest, Eeyore! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and 
Oh my god, they I are... can just imagine that conversation. Eeyore, there's no use to be. It's like, there's no use being depressed all the time. Find something to smell about, and Eeyore's like, I tried, but the trajectory of your franchise put me down again. Oh, oh damn. Oh He's god. like, oh. <laughs> no, like, he would, like, he would just, like, oh yes, Michael Bay. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I was looking up uh, on the vo the original voice actor of Optimus Prime. Peter Cullen. And they're right. Yeah, they're right. He did voice Eeyore. Isn't that oh, Jesus Christ? That is so coincidental. He still like voices that. Eeyore. That he doesn't is. surprise me. The dude has a fucking deep ass voice. Of course, he would be able to do it. I, what is I the didn't name? Know that. What is the name of that VA who I swear she is in every cartoon ever made? She voiced Timmy Turner. Oh, oh Tara, Tara Strong. Strong. I think she's in like every cartoon I've ever fucking watched. Yeah, she's, she's Twilight, she's character. Raven, she's Timmy, she's Holly Quinn. Ember, Ember from uh, Danny Phantom. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How it comes that you five feels gum gum since your stimulates. Dude, say what you want about Butch Hartman. Danny Phantom is a good show, and it ended when it was supposed to. That's yeah. all I have to say. Now, like, there's some cartoons that um that uh that 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 he made, but but just him on his own, I just I have no respect for. I know, I understand. Danny Phantom was a good show. Fairly Odd Parents went downhill. Tough Puppy was never good. And he has a new cartoon show now that I think only had four episodes. What? Oh, fucker! Not you, the game. Nobody... <laughs> before he realized that no one was watching it. So I think that show what? went down the tubes. No, that was bullshit. Get over here. Okay. I'm scrolling down to it's Tara Strong's list of cartoon shows that she was... A that she You're gonna be going on that list for years, dude. Yeah, I have to imagine <laughs> pretty long. Not necessarily. I've learned to scroll far. That that oh, wow that. Far now. I'm that, already past to the part of the Powerpuff Girls. Let's see. There. The city of Townsville is under attack. <laughs> no surprise. <laughs> the, the infrastructure sucks here. Where are the pop of girls? Oh, they retired. Okay, never mind. Uh, We're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they it's not even Mojo Jojo anymore. In their own careers. <laughs> it's like Mojo Jojo doesn't even care anymore. It's like the Townsville has already been destructed. So I Mojo Jojo don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know this. What? what? Okay, who remembers Babar? What the heck is Babar? You have not seen Babar? I don't even, even know what the fuck that Babar. is. Yeah, what is that? It's a story about this elephant who's the king of all elephants. Okay. Oh. And he tells his childhood stories. I've never heard of Babar. Oh, I need to introduce you to the movie then. The movie is good. Ah, damn it. <sighs> anyway. Gold, you're rushing. Just slow down, dude. It'll be okay. Anyways, there was an actual TV show of Babar. And Tara Strong voiced his, uh, the young version of his wife, Clary, uh, Fuck. Celeste. Okay, so his, his young elephant wife is named Celeste. Yes. Okay, There's, I got that. And Tara Strong voiced her. I okay. did not know that, so I was, I'm kind of surprised. Who also remembers the old Mario cartoons? Old Mario cartoons. The Super Mario remember. Brothers Super Show? Yeah, and the third one, and the one that was like based off of the third game in Super Mario World. Those mo those cartoons. Hip and Hop, she voiced those two characters. I, dude, her fucking rapport goes back. Yeah. Goes fucking back. She can voice so many characters. Oh yeah, she's like really talented. Oh come on, I was on top of that alligator head. I have to respect her for that she's really talented yes she is dude you know what movie we should watch what like, for movie night powerpuff girls movie the original powerpuff girls movie i might take a look into that um 
I was very indifferent from Powerpuff Girls, mainly because of the hype surrounding it. It drove me nuts. Like, they made oh, Powerpuff... Tur- yeah, no, they made Powerpuff Girl toys. They made a cereal brand. It's like, jeez. I was not that impressed with the show. It's just, it's the same thing where a bunch of girls are fighting a bunch of bad guys. And they just leave the town in complete and utter destruction. I don't know, man. Like, Powerpuff Girls had some pretty solid freaking moments throughout the series. And I mean the original series. Yeah. Wait, wait uh, uh, Jesse, do you remember the episode of the Powerpuff Girls where they wanted a sister? So they made a sister, and oh. then at the end of the oh, yeah, yeah at, at the end, at the end, she exploded herself to save yeah. the Powerpuff Girls or something. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Uh, that was a close or, one. Or, like, I think she just exploded. Like, the ingredients they put in the thing was too unstable, and at the end, they yeah. were like, we love you, bunny. And then she just, she just fucking blew up. Yeah. That's what happened to her, because the chemical, the ingredients that she was made from were too unstable, and she couldn't sustain her body, so it made her blow up. Fuck! So that, dude, that episode is a fucking tearjerker. Don't tell it me the original is. pop-up girls ain't good. It's so good. Well, yeah. I mean, it's better than the current one. Anything is better than the current one, dude. Miles, Probably dude. because it wasn't fucking... Like, I don't understand why cartoons have regressed in a world where <laughs> entertainment should only ever be pushing forward. I don't think cartoons have regressed. Finding I think... new and creative ways to tell stories. And then Dude. this new thing is just like, what if we did Family Guy, but it was never funny at the beginning either. <laughs> Dude, there was a show where I, the instant I saw it, I was like, oh, so this is just worse Family Guy. But it's so forgettable that I don't even remember what it was called. Move I out of the way. The I saw it, I was like, this is this is another Family Guy clone. Also, people are going to try and say that anime and shit is, like, super offensive and evil, but then they're going to allow something like Big Mouth to exist. Oh, hey, Galaxy. I'm glad you can join us for this anime conversation. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that did not sound like a happy moan. Did you hit the B? No, he got a, he got a one banana. 